Okay. Just had a meeting with the uh, mod. Uh, I removed some uh, stuff because it was uh, not good. So I removed replay mod, uh, Bobby, and Zero's world map and mini map. So yeah. If any, if any of you watching, make sure you do not have any of those mods. Otherwise, uh, because there's a chance that it's not allowed and yeah, you need to be careful around those mods at a close encounter. So yeah, make sure. Otherwise, it's going to get in trouble and it's uh, mods are not going to like it, basically. But anyways, um, oh. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is, um, exploring. Uh, I swear I had pearls somewhere. Okay, yeah, this seems like, uh, I'm gonna pause the video so it doesn't look like I'm showing off. Okay, never mind. I can't find the pearls. They put them in the chests. Every time I try to look through my stuff, it feels like I it feels like I'm trying to show off what I got or what my team has. I'm just going to do it without them. Basically, just chilling out right now. We got another portal right here. We can warp right in. We got two barracks as well. Yeah. So we're in this area. I have no idea how to. So I don't know if you can hear this. This is the key I use to open my map. It doesn't work anymore. So like would be down here. And physics. I should turn on ocean physics back since I love Let's go in there since there could be three uh, pearls. Yeah. I just readjust my microphone. <laughs> Test. Actually, I'm always looking over here, so I'm just gonna place my microphone all the way here. That way, I not have to look right, I can look left. Though it makes my keyboard a bit weird. Also, that ambience is very nice. Actually, speaking of ambience, I probably should turn that down. I could probably go for some... Actually, some materials. Chop is very limited right now, and I honestly kind of like this style. It's like something about just actually putting in work makes things much more enjoyable to say. Like, you know, no, like just shopping all the time though I it's the convenience was nice but I do agree uh, it was very over the top like it allowed creativity but kind of it's like junk food you know? it's too accessible and stuff
noise, yeah. You know what that means? I'm gonna do some speed bridging. I haven't done, I haven't practiced speed bridging it since 2020. And that was like before I joined my stream. Actually, no, 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 no. That was, that was a, okay, yeah, that was a year into my time in my superior, I mean. I joined in 2019. Speaking of that, I never finished my story back in the headhunt video. I might as well. But basically, to summarize up so you don't have to watch the headhunt video for context. I got, I, so basically, 20, October 2019, right, or maybe September, no, yeah, September, so, since that was my, since that was my birthday, and that's when I got Minecraft, yeah, I got Minecraft on September, and that's when I, like, rushed to, like, uh, into like some server list and got a bunch of um, servers in that list. Of course, my spirit was one of them. So I, I visited all of them, including my superior, but I didn't really stick with one. I just played one of the random ones. I did visit my superior, but uh, actually at the time, uh, it wasn't really, it wasn't really released yet. The portal to enter that just said coming soon. Even the compass GUI just said like coming soon and stuff. At least Kid PvP and like OP Prison was still there, but like. I wasn't really into P PvP, honestly. But later on, when I did join again, uh, or when I did revisit, it was actually released, so I joined uh, Survival. Because I always had a liking to, like, you know, playing Survival but multiplayer. And that's. And I just. I just like the idea of that, you know? Just like being able to talk with others, but also doing stuff on your own. Though later on, I would kind of feel lonely. Like later on in the seasons. But yeah. Basically, uh, when I started out, I just like RTP. Actually, no, I went through that like water portal at spawn. And I just TP to like an old forest. If I can remember. It's like an old forest. I basically just went around digging and um, got me some diamonds. Why well, we were given like uh, the you pay uh, at default you were given like uh, the a recruit kit. That was basically the low rank. You were, were basically when you joined, you were just a recruit. And then you could like, there was like two level systems. You had the paid rank and the, the, oh shoot. I got distracted. You had the paid rank and the one you pay with money. See, yeah, it's kind of annoying to speed bridge, especially when you're above lava. It's not the most appetizing of methods to travel. But it's not like... Okay, yeah, there's no strider. It's, I was about to say, it's not like I had a saddle to strider up. 
But the thing is, I would need fungi to it. So yeah. I got distracted again from the story. Okay. Um. What was I saying again? Yeah, I basically joined. Let's speed up to the part where I found uh this guy named Thor Sevens. Uh, Thor Seven. Th that guy basically just advertised. Or... Oh. I. I need to stop losing focus. He basically okay. Basically, he advertised his work. It was a Blaze XP, I think. So, I went there and I got a bunch of XP. And I was able to enchant my stuff. I was really happy. It was really nice. Though it was only like the second day of what I can remember, it was the, like only the second day of the release of Survivor. So people were, so I remember like people just saying like, how the hell did you build all this? It's been like one day or something. I bet most of them were like, or, like OGs in their own terms. Like they were from, you know, Old my superiors and stuff like way before me. In fact, now that I think of it, survival is like the survival. Survival is like the survival gold of my superior. Like it, it's the newest one, and everyone si simply dogs on it. Well, not everyone, but like people seem to dog on it. Survival and Townie have this like rivalry now. They never had before because mostly everyone just ignored it. But yeah. Um. But basically, Thor Seven. I just maybe I should script my videos. Otherwise, I just. Otherwise, because I keep forgetting what I'm saying or I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's aimbot right there. Delora. <sighs> See, I lost. I lost track again. Okay, so Thor 7. Basically, I got a bunch of XP from that. And I just... I decided... Oh, it would be nice to, like... It would be efficient... Uh, it, it'd be, like, cool if I, like, built my house, like, 100 or 200 blocks away. So that I could, like, travel in between. Though, in the end, I never actually, like... I re seldom did I actually uh, travel by foot. I just used the warp and then did home. And yeah, I basically did that a bunch. I made a m my house. My house was a very simple house. Just a wooden house with like like it's like a wooden box with like the classic. Uh, well, not really classic, but I just had iron doors instead of uh, normal doors. That part is flooded. And like, just pressure plates and stuff. Yeah, I was really trash. I'm still trash now, but I was way more trash than I, when I started. Basically, I went back and forth about uh for a week or so. That was until uh I heard about decisive town. 
where it all where it really all started. So you know, decisive town, the first my first home, and I think the first town is also the first town in uh, oh shoot is that yeah this spot is probably not allowed either. I wait on uh, I wait on the mods to check on this video so that uh, they can gauge whether or not it's allowed. For now, I'll just uh, wait, I'll just unbind it actually, just in case. So if any of you mods watching, uh, make sure to look at that by the way. Just to be sure, just to be sure. Because it might be an unfair advantage. As the rules state. And not all mods are listed. What's that? Someone already dug through here. Oh, never mind, they didn't. Okay, yeah, but anyways, about Decisive Town. Um... Yeah, you can tell I'm using all my brain power here just to focus. Why? Well, I, I can't even focus enough to actually use all of my brain power. Funny enough. So this guy, uh, decisive streams. I think he's called one five one N. From last time I, oh, I had a hiccup there. Last time I checked on name MC, uh, he he basically it's the same story. Someone rooted this one. Oh no. Okay, yeah, uh, same story. Um, they just advertised and I joined. And I think I can like describe it in some vivid memory. Okay. So so when I got there, I it was basically the from what I remember, it's, it's on the <sighs> oh my god. Okay, basically when I got there, the mountain was f like it had uh there was a snowstorm, so there was like snow everywhere and all that. It was like cinematic. You could feel like I could feel the cold just from um <coughs> sorry I could feel the cold just from uh looking around uh there was three guys uh there was uh slobby doggy wait on no. slobby doggy and uh, Penene and Decisive Streams himself. Penene was building this like dirt block. Think of my house, but smaller and made of dirt. That's basically what it was. Sabi so Doggy was doing the same, but it was a it was a spruce house. And uh, what's Decisive Streams? Uh, it was just building a mountain base into the mountainside. It was re it's really cool. You should check it out in the world downloads. I basic uh, I basically just uh I just looked. I heard. Also, a tip for anyone who is exploring, you can use subtitles, like echolocation. And everyone has uh, the ability to do this. It's most likely upwards, right? So it's, yeah. That's just a normal skeleton, never mind. I thought that was a wither skeleton. 
And I lost track again. Okay. But basically, I went back. The first house I went to was just a Slavy Doggy's house. I tried luring a creeper into his house, but the stairs wasn't properly connected to the ground. So, it basically targeted me instead of him. And, well, I didn't die, of course, but... I did all oh, one hit. I did basically get damage in the process. I kept just watching him though. I was a ve I was and still am very annoying. If we're being honest. But to but I was really annoying. Uh early on so because i would just look i would just watch him as he built the house and he and he got fed up it's like bro okay if if i give you if i give you access or trust i think you will stop right i i don't remember if i actually said it back but he, he gave me trust anyways and well despite my nature I actually helped out that was the same thing that uh, I did with zigzag 2 to b although it doesn't have the most appetizing start let's be honest I'll get to that when I finish <coughs> talking about preseason. Yeah. <coughs> he built like a. I helped him build his base. I made a mine there. He kept nagging us, saying like, uh, like saying, "Oh, do you want to play with me?" And we just told him no. So we just ignored him. And he drank a uh, invis potion, right? And then. I assume he just had a bunch of potions stocked up in his uh, inventory because while we were not expecting it, he just bombarded us with a bunch of uh, poison potions and lava buckets. <clears throat> I was panicking because I didn't know what to do and yeah. So I tried running away, I tried placing signs, uh, okay, so first I tried getting the attention of decisive streams, I didn't, I didn't say grief, 
Otherwise, the situation would have dealt with in chat. So none of the none of the staff caught on. So the sexist streams was like, nah, it's fine. And then I and then the next thing I did was like place two signs on me, so it it would stop placing the lava. Uh, so he couldn't place lava on me, but he kept throwing potion poison potions on me so i tried running up the mountain at at the time uh the base uh decisive streams base didn't even have like um st the stairs that it has in the world down there. it was just like you know it was like you just had to fly up there basically so yeah i tried wa going up there and i fell down because of my and died because my health was low. And yeah, I was basically in tears at that point. And I mean genuine. Like I, I was, I, I was a really emotional kid back then. So. I in pan in like and when I got back to my where I died, uh, it was basically gone. So in desperation and just yeah, just in desperation, I stole like the diamond and iron from Slobby Doggy's chest, and he saw that I was doing that. He's like asking why, but I. I looked at him, said nothing, and just continued doing that. He just left afterwards. Forever, by the way. He never came back to the server. Even, like, not even once did he come back to the server. That was, it's like a canon event. But, yeah, it was pretty tragic, honestly. I had lost... All my stuff is gone. I just lost my friend. I was basically hopeless. And alone. I stayed at my old house. Oh yeah, speaking of, speaking of the town. I Once I got into the town, I kind of ditched my old house. I still had the access to it. But I just left it there. Since I didn't have the reason to go back. You know, I'm not even gonna win. Um, try hitting my grinder. Oh. So I just like greeting chat and see how much you get. It's funny seeing the stuff people kind of say. It really says about our society. Um. But basically, I just ditched my own house. Cause why build? Why continue when I already have a house? So yeah. Basically, had that. Ah, oh, I should have done that. But basically, I took all the stuff to my house and waited like, I guess, a few minutes. I went back and uh, tried to clear out the stuff, uh, the lava cast that stupid put there, but he poison potioned me again and I died. So I waited till next day and yeah, he was gone. So I just went and cleared it out. And keep in mind, stupid was never banned at all. I think when I searched his ban history, he, uh, or punishment history, he had, he had like, uh, he had like one mute or something. But yeah. Oh yeah, it was basically. Oh, gone. And decisive streams too. Decisive was.
starting to like be inactive or inactive I mean and just never really joined or came online and yeah I was basically just on my own yeah. not such a happy origin if you ask me But, I kept, but in honor, I brought back the stuff and, you know, I originally thought he would come back, but he never came back. So, I would keep his claim and house, I would live in that house, I would keep it, like, tidy and try to make it the best I can for when he returns. And yeah, I eventually realized there's a high chance he's never returning, so I basically just, well, made it my permanent house. I still had access to my old house, but I basically ditched it at that point because I just lost my friend and. Well, my friend quit, and now I, well, that's all I had left of him. So, yeah. I still waited. I built up a reputation over time. I like chatting with people, and... People were generous and like gifted me a bunch of ranks as well. I got Squire, Knight, and then Paladin. Until like uh, April 20, 2021, I think? 2021? Until April 2021. <laughs> Specific and directly on um, that day. Let's go on AMC.com. Uh, let's search up Team Fortress 2 fan. My account got hacked. I no longer had that account. this one as you can see um yeah originally team fortress 2 fan i switched that username in 2019 uh basically i didn't include this at first i forgot but when i got minecraft i basically was handed my brother's account so yeah this was his old username I don't remember this though but yeah I renamed this and as you can see it was yeah 9-7-2019 and indeed that was because I was born 9, uh, 8, 20, no, 20, 9, 8, 2007, not 20. So, yeah. Later on, TF2 fan, and then there we go. April 1st, that's when I got hacked. It was one of those registration ones, and, yeah. I really tried to get it back, but I couldn't. So, for five months, I basically was offline. All of the friends I had, they forgot about me. Actually, before I got hacked, I kind of sped up a bit, but... Uh, 
but that's a lot of wind. Um, I basically made a book trilogy, and it, and a guy named Polis Fotet. Oh my God, Polis Fotet. Uh. Uh, and another guy was a fan of it. I was, I was really, I really like that. So, remember that username, Polis Fotet. Also, if you're wondering, uh, Polis Fotet means stinky chicken in, in Latin, I think. Because I Google translated it back in season three. But, so, remember that username, Polis Fotet. It will be, Important uh, later on. Ah. <laughs> but basically, yeah. When I joined back, I came back as Decisive TF2 fan, named after Decisive Streams, of course. And I basically started anew. I I had an Funny enough, my during my time off my superior, I had a nightmare that when I came back to my uh, when I came back uh, to the town, it was like just everyone like it was griefed. But when I came back, it was actually everything was intact. Actually, like all the stuff, yeah, it was pretty nice. Yeah. I found and when I go went to I no longer uh, since it was a new account and I didn't have access to my old one I didn't have access to the uh, my original claims also decisive streams uh, claim was removed I think by like, you know, staff, since a person named zigzag 2 v liked uh, going around old places, you know, telling staff, oh, this claim's overdue. It happened to me before I got hacked. Uh, it's funny enough. Basically, a slobby doggy's house. Since he never came back, it was way overdue. So I had gone on like a like a two month like leave because I was just bored. And then when I came back, uh, the claim was gone and everything else valuable I had was gone. So yeah, I did reget. I did. I did reclaim it though. And basically rebuild it back up but yeah that's just a thing that happened in between but yeah basically that happened to decisive streams and I basically reclaimed it and made my home in there and basically yeah, over time I slowly claimed it back up again and then just you know I oh I was happy again. I had, and then I brought back my reputation. Also, remember the zigzag to the V name. Also, but yeah, I built a lot of stuff there. And yeah, I was happy again. Of course, not all things last. The reset, uh, no, 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 not that one. Survival Diamond was announced. Whole sur like, pretty much the entire player base flocked to it. And stayed on there. I originally thought of it as a test server, and not something that would be permanent. So, I always had hope for Survival Emerald. Because it was called that now. 
Alright, that was that was its new name, not just MS Survival. So yeah. Basically I I stood my ground though. I never I stuck with the original. I didn't want to leave it. And well yeah. Basically everything was crumbling around. People just left on mass. And at one point and actually no not that yet. And then the reset was announced. That was the first and I was in the Discord by then so I knew about it. But yeah. I saw everything was gonna be wiped and well my motivation was ruined. Everything I had worked for is going to be gone. But I just left the sign there. I just accepted it and wiped it and it all wiped away. At one point, I w there was only two players online. I, me being one of them. Just alone. Once had up to 300 players at one. It had, it used to have 300 players all at once. And just gone. So yeah, you can say my motivation was properly ruined. When I did come back up, I basically went into a bamboo forest and found a village, basically. And I decided I'd make that my house. So that's the end of the preseason story. There's a lot more to talk about, and it's already getting long, so I'll I'll cut it short. Yeah, I I originally planned this as a traveling video, but I guess it's turned more into a story time. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Um, bye.